Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Missal 3.0. Previously in Missal, we went to the Underworld, and now we're off to explore the teacher's backstory and hopefully not get killed in the process. Is that Minayeka? I wonder what's in the lower drawer. Hmm? Oh, it's just a bunch of hands. I thought it was gonna be something like Ben, like he had a girlfriend already. Wait! What? <laughs> what are these arms? <laughs> Mr. Soda's desk. What? Are these real? No. Can't, can't be. Oh, hey, you discovered my army. Good. Still not rotten. Your body truly is miraculous to stay fresh over three months. All the more to love. Mmm. Arms. This guy's... nuts! And you... You saw my secret. You can't escape. I kind of like he took the effort to take those arms with him. Afterwards. It just creates kind of a funny scene if you ever actually were to see it. From like in a 3D perspective of a, a guy just running with these two bloody arms around a school chasing after someone. It's supposed to be grim, but it just seems really comical to me. I got you. No running away now. About earlier. Don't tell anyone, will you? It's a secret between us. I see. That's unfortunate. Then I'll have to kill you. Hey guys. What's going on? Yeah? That's nice. Hope you enjoy your tea. I'll just be going now. I actually forgot how he got wounded. Maybe he was wounded by a ghost at some point. Now then, no one to get in the way. No. I can't run like this. Faking you can get away from me. You know, this is when I actually just realized after years uh, later playing this game that the reason you couldn't find the tranquilizer was because he used it on her. You are the one who fought me flawless. Doesn't explain how he got hurt, though. Mr. Sona, kill Naika. I'm so sorry I didn't notice Aiga. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the only part in this whole truce end route that you can die. 
Where is this? I was satisfied at first. I enjoyed being loved by all. But suddenly, it was all hollow. It wasn't me who everyone loved. It was my mask. Is that Aika? Aika! I'm speaking to you from the future. You're also dead in the future. It's kind of awkward. She doesn't notice, or I guess she can't hear me. Mr. Soda! Mr. Soda is totally the best. A little mysterious, but that only makes him even better. Lucky Ayaka, having him for homeroom. I'm so jealous. Ah, uh, Mr. Soda, you're just so beautiful. He's got a great face. Generic schoolgirl comment. And his personality is a killer, too. Yeah. They went there. Damn it. Everyone always goes on and on about my parents. Those idiotic girls. This... This isn't my face. Ooh. Sona? This person... Is it really Mr. Sona? Boy, what are you doing here, Soda? Going to school. Mr. Sona? You just stink up the class. Not as much as your generic blue hair you all seem to have. Go home, you filth. Maybe after you get a better fashion sense. It's kind of... In the future, all the boys have brown hair and all the girls have pink hair. In the past, everyone has blue hair and the girls have like a... I guess it's kind of like a brown hair. I think that's what it is. Look! Stay away from me! Um, I am. P.U. I don't think anyone said that since maybe about first grade? Huh, rebound shot. Sorry. Forget it. Just move it. Uh, ugh. Hey, she's crying. You gave her cooties. You're the worst, Soda. Making girls cry. Was it my fault? You didn't move fast enough. But, but... Yuck, pervert. Soda groped her. Awful. And to think this is only going to get worse when the Facebook social networking generation starts. No one accepts me. Was that Soda's past? I'll be safe in this closet. Why? Why does everyone reject me? I hate it. I can't stand it. A cat. 
It's wounded. You look so fragile. I need to get you to the hospital. Hang in there. I'm going to help you. I'm sorry, but she's beyond saving. No. I'm sorry. If only I had found you sooner, maybe I could have... Teacher. No one ever accepts me. That's what I thought. But she was different. You know, these backstories actually cement my point about the one bully being completely... Uh, what's the word for that? Irredeemable? Well, at least a teacher has like a tragic backstory thing going. Motivation is the word we're looking for. You really gonna eat that thing? Loser. This dump is the perfect place for soda, huh? Uh, ha, ha, ha. You said it. Hey, say something. Your blue hair sucks. You're lame. Let's go. I think she got a portrait this time. I don't think she had one before. Are you okay? She was one of the girls in Mr. Soda's class. Do you mind if... I sit with you? Huh? It's okay if you don't want me. Sorry. D no Nothing like that. So I can? Y yeah What do I do? What do I say? Takano's not saying anything either. What did Takano talk to me? Ah, oh, Takano's hands are so pretty. Hey, do you always eat lunch here? Uh, uh, yeah. I see. It's nice here. It's quiet and calming. Except for those bullies that always seem to attack you all the time. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Sorry. W what is it? I couldn't do anything when you were being teased. D don't. Can I come again tomorrow? Uh. We should eat lunch together from now on. Huh? You- If you eat with me, you'll just be teased. I don't mind at all. I decide I won't back down. I was feigning ignorance out of fear. I always turned from reality. But I'm going to stop. From now on, I'll protect you, Soda. W what? Am I bothering you? N no. That is, you're not, but. but it, it surely. You can't. If you got teased because of me, I. I mean, I'd feel guilty. And having a girl stand up for me, I'll just be teased more. I guess so. I'm sorry, but I really appreciate the thought. Well, sorry for bringing it up. N no, it's... Still, it won't change that I want to protect you, Sona. Come to me any time you're in trouble. I'll help you with anything. Takano. Thank you. Hey, I want to know you better, Sona. She was the first. The first to accept me. I was... so... so happy. We met there every day afterward. We didn't talk to each other. We just spent the time together. 
conversation wasn't necessary. My heart was at ease with her there. We were happy. Ah, uh, that cloud looks like a sheep. So it does. It's cute. Yeah. Takano smiling. She's cute, too. I loved her hands, and her voice, and her smile, and her green anime hair. And the fact that she shared the name of another character with a similar hair color in another horror series. Also, she turned out to be evil in that series. I fell for her. My first love. I... I love Takano. Yes, I do. I really do. I love her. Love, 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 love. T takano Hmm? Huh? Soda? What's the matter? Let, let go. Ta... No. I, I love you. But what? Um, so, I, I love you. I love you, Takano. Ah! Ta you creep. Huh? Uh. I I'm sorry. Why? I thought you accepted me. Why? 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 Um, look. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get close to you for that kind of thing. I just felt bad for you, Soda. Sorry. It's nothing. We should stop meeting here, okay? Uh-huh? No. No. What? What? Why won't anyone accept me? And the most logical response is to start choking the person, apparently. New portraits really help, though, I think. No one accepts me. No one. You think I'm disgusting too, don't you? You see, it wasn't really love, Soda. You just felt like it was love, because it was the first time someone ever showed you kindness. And then you started to choke her to death. In rejection. The fact that she spent every day with you was a good sign. Even if she didn't actually love you, which you shouldn't expect anyway, she took the time to... try to help you out. Which is the thought you should honor. Going past any level of that actually does make you seem a bit like Creeper. Uh, I see we're back to murdering. Why? Why does no one accept me? Why? 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 Sir. I don't think anyone's gonna accept you when you're covered in blood with a giant hatchet murdering people. My face. I thought if I changed my face... Yes, things did change. It was a complete turnaround. Everyone welcomed me. I was accepted at last. I was happy. But... I soon realized it wasn't me who people were welcome to. It was my face. No one looked inside me. Always my appearance. This fabricated face. This isn't me. It's not me who was loved. Just this fake face. I've never been loved for me. That's not true, sir. Everyone knows. Mr. Soda's a kind and reliable teacher. They... they... And I know it too. You're kind at heart, Mr. Soda. Just a little awkward sometimes. Except for the murder thing. For that, 
I like you. But... So, teacher, don't be sad anymore. I... everyone. We all love our kind teacher. Nigawara. Take this. It's a hand mirror. I think it may be useful. I wonder what for. Toma's grave. Don't tell me Toma is in here. So Misao possessed Toma to drag him into the other world. Misao. Stay back. The others can go free, but I won't give you Toma. But why not Toma? He was just... I know. He was just toying with me. And for that, I hate him. I hate him so much. Yet I love him. It's strange. If you love Toma, then free him for his sake. Then, will you be with me instead, Aki? I don't want to be alone anymore. It doesn't matter who. I just want someone with me. Won't... Won't you be my boyfriend instead of Toma, Aki? W well I... Couldn't. <laughs> of course. Not for a girl like me. Toma! Hmm? <laughs> Ghost! Toma? It's just me, Misao. I'm not a month. He's, uh. He's Looney Tunes running. Calm down, Toma. You look like an idiot, more so than usual. The mirror. It can't be. This is... me? No. No. Misao. No. Don't look. Don't look at me. Why? Why does all this happen to me? What did I do? Tell me! Misao, I wanted to live a long life. I wanted to be happy with someone. I don't want to be alone again. I'm scared. This is so unfair. It's wrong that I have to endure this. I'm right, aren't I? I... I'll make everyone in the whole class experience what I have. No, I won't let you do that. Then let me be your girlfriend, Haki. If you'll be there for me, Aki, then I... I'll... He's out. You know the rules. They never hook up an anime. I know. It's never to be. I'm such a fool. I should just vanish off the face of the earth. Aki, I'm sorry. It's out. Wait. Aki? I can't be your boyfriend. You're just a precious friend. Ugh. Precious? I want to be a good friend for you. That's why I don't want you to date on a whim like Toma would. Aki. We can't suddenly be lovers when we still barely know each other. So, let's be friends first. I mean, I always wanted to be your friend already, Misao. I'll be with you as a friend. Whatever happens, you won't be alone. I promise. Aki, why? Why would you say? Because I like you, Misao. Aki, ah. Uh.
Can a girl like me really be your friend? Well, of course. I'll say it again. Isao, will you be my friend? Yes. Aki, thank you. Isao. Huh? The classroom. Was that just a dream? No, it wasn't. Isao, I'll never, ever forget you. Part of me kind of wishes they just stayed together in that afterlife. Wouldn't be too bad, I think. Hey, I'm uh, still trapped here. Can you get me out? Uh... Anything new is here. Huh. It makes one actually asked about that in the concepts. I mean, the uh, comments, rather. Zombie bro. So far it's the same. Thank you. 
the Eternal Stalker. Shit posting. I have an idea what that secret is, but I think it's in the other area. Eh, it doesn't seem like there is anything new here for the most part. Okay, this seems to be about the only thing that's new. And that's it for me, Sal. 3.0. So, not too many differences. Uh, the boy still has a different personality. We didn't get to see the kind of hinting that they're actually demons, or at least part demon, with the eye contact, red eye thing. But I imagine that gimmick is still there. It's just the boy, uh, Melaki is a lot more mellow, so you never quite see that demonic side to him. You only kind of see it when the female Aki is possessing him, which I imagine is some kind of weird demon trans power dimensional thing. I really don't know. You're probably not supposed to think too hard about it because the boy's brought was just like a little extra thing, and it didn't have the true ending time to it originally. Also, if you've never actually seen Miss Al before or played Mad Father or anything, uh, Miss Library is as uh, Aya as it's kind of obvious, and this game made it even more obvious. But she's not the actual Aya. The actual Aya, you know, grows up. She's the clone version or whatever that you see in the test tube at the end of the secret scene in The Mad Father. That's why she has a more, let's say, spiritual existence now? And that's why she says that Aki smells like her or whatever. Because they're both Presumably, kind of spiritual, demonic, or not quite human anymore. She mentioned some things now in the new version, like Maria, and she has the like library books there and all that stuff right there. But I don't think she's the original. 
I think she just has like her memories or something. She might not even have might not even have the memories. She just might have like lingering, kind of very small, barely recognizable memories, like remnants of the original Aya, but she just can't quite pin it down. That's what I'm thinking anyway. That's why she dislikes the name Maria, but she probably doesn't quite know why. And why she also doesn't have a name. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Me Sal 3.0. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.